Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's me, Mary. Happy Felon Friday. I'm here with today's edition of Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. I am here with Life After Lockup is returning on October 10th, and I'm here with cast updates for you guys. So let's hop right into it. So as Mary Pants posted, Life After Lockup is returning on October 10th. We TV posted this morning a clip, um, a trailer clip from the new season. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited for the new season of Life After Lockup. Even though this season of Love After Lockup, I have to admit, is fucking fire. So first, we have Key Rock and Brittany, who are returning. Okay. And They've been celebrating each other all summer. It was recently Key Rock's birthday. So um, they're showing their love all over the interwebs. Um, Brittany thanks her blessings. Key Rock is doing his thing. But unfortunately, during the summer, they did have two scary things that happened to them. Um, first, they narrowly missed this... Um, Huge truck accident, trailer accident, okay, by just a few minutes. And then they had a really scary um, incident happen. So um, a couple of people attempted to rob them, okay, and basically fired shots at Key Rock. Brittany shared this to her, um, to her social media. Could have lost my life. They tried to rob us, and it went not in their favor. Neither of them knew the platform we have and the supporters we have in this world. And I'm sharing to show you that people can lose their life any day due to the hatred in this world. Please share this because LGBTQ lives matter. Trans lives matter. People aren't speaking on this. Speak up, lend support to each other about this. This happens to people and it's not talked about. So I'm going to share the really scary um surveillance video that Brittany released and um yep hey what's the fuck hold on that's what's up what somebody put a strap on him So that's really, really scary. Okay, I'm glad that Key Rock and Brittany came out of it not injured and that they were okay. I also had the pleasure of interviewing Key Rock and Brittany in the beginning of the summer. So check out that interview if you haven't already. And I had the pleasure to interview um, one of Key Rock's friends that will be appearing on this season with Key Rock and Brittany. His name is Cloud. Check that out as well if you haven't already. The Mills family is returning. Oh, yes, they are. Justine and Mike are returning with their um, basketball team full of kids, um, including adorable Manhattan Barbie. Now, I know there was a rumor flying around that Justine was pregnant again. She was kind of low-key over the summer. I mean, she posted this. Um, she was live with Mike at a pool party at the beginning of August, okay? The rumor was that she was due in July. She didn't really post much of herself over the summer, but my feeling is they didn't have another baby, just saying. But um, FYI, Mike lost his phone, so if he had your phone number, 
DM him. Melissa and Louie are back. Oh, yes, they are. And they're doing well. I have Melissa on with me um, recapping the season premiere of Love After Lockup. Louie is 12 years alcohol free. So fucking proud of him. Um, hey, I want to know the pizza guy if he's making pizza like this. Okay. And Melissa is dealing with a little bit of the um, empty nest syndrome, which I understand well. Her daughter went away to college. So, you know, they're doing their thing. But then I saw this and I said, whoa, what the hell happened? Now, for you guys who do not watch Basketball Wives, there is this chick on Basketball Wives named Jen Williams, okay? Her man, apparently, is a big-time scammer, okay? He takes people's money, allegedly, tells them that they're going to, he's going to invest their money in these projects, and allegedly uses the money for his, um, you know, high cost lifestyle. Okay. He's living it up using other people's money who thought their money was being invested. It turns out, and I thank reality T recap for this T. Okay. If you guys don't follow her on the gram, you should. She covers housewives. She covers Bravo shows, love after lockup. She actually um, interviewed Letitia a couple of weeks ago. So if you guys don't follow her on the gram, you should. So she, okay, I got the tea on one of her little reality tea recaps. So check this out, talking about our beloved Louie being a victim of a scam. Check this out. talk to his bunkie, his celly. Interestingly, his celly is also on reality TV. His celly was on Love After Lockup. His celly was a sweetie potato. Yes. What? Our other oh. favorite show. You're not going to guess. You're not going to guess. He's like one of my favorite little sweetie potatoes. Louie. Louie and Melissa. you lying. I'm not lying. Louie Louis with the new teeth. Looking good, Louie, with those teeth. Louie and Melissa. Let me see if I could get a, a photo of them up. Hold on so you could see. But um, Louie was this bunkie. And Louie also invested. And Louie's been scammed. So That is so fucked up. Just saying. Oh, let me see. And Melissa. So y'all see which one I'm talking about. There you go. But um, Louis had not been paid back either. He he implied that he had made Louis all this money, and that huh, you'll see. Yeah, Just and they funny. follow me by the way, Louis and Her Melissa, and yeah, like she's a Jersey girl. I'm a Jersey girl. Like <laughs> I would never have guessed that, but yeah. that's right. He was a he was in jail in Georgia and came. To yeah, Jersey who Melissa. knew they were they cellmates? Here, let me share that one. So y'all can see who I'm talking about. There we go. Yeah, this couple. And so what I what I asked Louie about is I was like, hey, Louie, um, you know, I saw you, you traveled. You went to like Mexico, you know, after you, you know, were out. And Melissa don't play. See, his not girlfriend, fiance, I'm not sure what their stage. I know their girlfriend and boyfriend, at least. Um, she don't play. And so I know she's like me. She's a real follower. She's like, I wasn't sitting here, you know, watching you do all this time when, and then, you know, going to let you do something stupid where you get sent back. And so he was oh. like, no, I went to Mexico. I just asked for a pass and that it's pretty easy to get. You just have to allow yourself enough time to get it. So this excuse here, I, and, and I knew that was the case. I understood that to be the case. So the excuse that always had a lot of different probation officers is straight goofy. Okay. It's That's straight goofy. Because it's like and okay, ridiculous. Different, there you go. different officer, same rules. I don't, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense that that sentence absolutely. you read didn't make sense to me. Yeah, absolutely. So, unfortunately, it looks like our beloved Louie 
was victim of a scam from this dude who was dating a basketball wife. How reality TV shows collide in the weirdest way. The next Life After Lockup cast member is Zaria and Troy. Yes, they are returning. And um, as we see, Troy trying to take his mom to church last week. Didn't go over so well, but these two are still together. Okay. Um, she even has a line of gummies named after Black Karen coming out. So um, these two are doing their thing. I also had a chance to um, interview them in the beginning of the season of Love After. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, please do. Um, they answered, you know, some questions. And Choi's trying to rebuild his relationship with his mom. I wonder if we're going to see more with this on Life After. And I wonder if we're going to hear and perhaps see the baby mama. Here you are, guys. This is Troy's baby mama that Zaria was so Zaria was so upset about. And um, I wonder if this is going to come up next season. We shall see. Kim and Joey are returning. Yes, they are. And um, they're still together. They're happy as far as I know. I had a chance to sit down with Kim. We did a recap. We talked a little about life. And hopefully I will be sitting down with her and Joey soon. So they're together, living their life together. Kim posted him up for National Soulmate Day. So we'll see their story continue. If you haven't checked out my recap of Kim, please do. TD and Rob from last season of Love During Lockup. Remember the chick that had the cameras in her house because her man wanted her to? They're still together. They look happy hanging out with family. Um, we saw in the trailer that things don't look like they're going too well between Teeny and Rob's mom. So I guess we shall see more. Now, I heard a rumor. Okay. Don't know if this rumor is true. Please don't keep me to it. If it's not, Brittany and Marcelino are returning for a mini season. They're going to drop them like in the middle of the season. And it's just like a mini season. Don't quote me on it if I'm wrong, because I could be wrong about this. Okay. But like I said, I heard a rumor. Now, definitely not coming back for this season of Life After Lockup. Shantae, who um, posted to her story that she won't be able to clear things up fully until the end of September. I'm going to have her as my co-host this week. We'll um, recap the, tonight's episode and go over what's happened on the season with her and True so far, which has been a lot. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Um, Leticia is not returning for this season of Life After Lockup. Neither are Christine and Julian, as far as I know. And Lindsay is definitely not returning for this season of Life After Lockup. So and there you go. The returning cast of Life After Lockup on October 10th. It's probably going to be another hot mess train wreck express. And we all know we love those. So stay tuned. And I just want to say, unfortunately, a lot of these relationships, you know, this is true. You get played because you fall in love with words instead of actions. Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit the like button and share my video with a friend or 10. And please consider joining my membership. There's a join button on my banner and a link in um, the, the description box. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye, everyone.